The question is, we've received correspondence and feedback from the public about how the police, and this is a question of the Chief Constable, received correspondence and um, feedback from the public about how the police respond to individuals with learning disabilities or autism. The suggestion uh, is that there is more that the police can do to ensure fair and appropriate treatment of victims and offenders with learning disabilities or autism. Does the force have a policy for dealing with victims or offenders with learning disabilities? What training do officers, call handlers, or other police staff receive to ensure that they are aware uh, and can make reasonable adjustments when communicating with people with learning difficulties? And finally, how do you ensure that victims and offenders with learning disabilities um, or autism are treated fairly? Chief Constable, please. Um, Commissioner, uh, when I spoke to the office earlier today, um, I would say the whole issue of learning disability and wider vulnerability is in itself a thematic that may come back to, to PAB on another day. In terms of a specific policy, uh, no, there's not uh, within the force, but there is an awful lot of work. In terms of statutory guidance, it's very clear within the Police and Criminal Evidence Act and the codes of practice for victims of crime of those who come into contact with the police when they are offenders or potential suspects, the safeguards are very clear uh, about the requirement um, if they come into custody to assess vulnerability and if needs be provide an appropriate adult or friend and indeed uh, specific legal advice. So statutory we comply as in every other force in that area. What we do have within the force area is a great deal of work around diversity and vulnerability and I'll touch on some of those. But again, just on some of the statutory key policies, clearly working with our local authority partners and schools um, here within Plymouth and across the force area, safeguarding of adults and safeguarding of children, uh, again in terms of vulnerability or children with learning disabilities or adults with learning disabilities will fall within the remit of safeguarding when appropriate. In respect to the specifics of autism, there is some project work currently happening uh, on the introduction of an autism alert scheme. Uh, that work is uh, taking place in Devon, also some work in Cornwall, and we will assess it as to whether it would roll out force-wide and indeed would come here to Plymouth. We do have our diverse community teams, and those were the teams that, when you first came to office, you raised concerns because we were designing them out of the force and received a lot of feedback from communities, um, learning and disabled communities as well, about removing them because they are the centres of excellence of the force and they come out and train our staff and can be a conduit. Um, due to the funding that you put in place, we've been able to keep those and we see those staying for at least uh, the next two years within the force structure. Some of the practical things we do though is we do trust our system. So within the question was control rooms. Um, the control rooms following Fiona Pilkington and other assessments, our control, our, our control room call handlers are now trained in vulnerability assessment and they will go through a series of questions, not just asking the individual uh, do they have a vulnerability or learning disability, but also some key questions that would flag it up because often people don't wish to declare that. And so some of the length of time that we take in handling 999 and 101 is going through that exercise of assessing vulnerability. In order to test whether that vulnerability training has been effective, uh, we engaged with um, some, some colleagues and friends and, and, and adults from uh, learning disabled groups and put them through some training and they performed um, quality assurance checks, what the public would know as mystery shoppers. So they then called in as mystery shoppers into our control rooms using 999-101 and also attending our front counters to see what quality of service they got and whether it was aligned to um, their needs, their specific needs and vulnerability. And that learning approach was fed back, so there was some excellent practice identified and there were some areas for improvement for identified, which was then fed back in. And in terms of the call centre, we actually have a specific trainer for this area of vulnerability assessment, which includes learning disabilities. Um, we've worked very closely here within Plymouth with the Plymouth Partnership, but also Plymouth People First, Cornwall People First and Devon People First and the Coalition for Action on Learning Disability and Hate Crime to try and improve the awareness on the front line on these issues. Um, what I would say is, and I think it's inherent with the question, could we do more and better? Of course we aspire to do more and better. You would want us to do that. And for me, I've set out before, Commissioner, and as it's something that you're, you're 
keen to explore is the nature of policing is more and more on the vulnerability of the victim more than just the crime type. Uh, and indeed, many victims can be, in certain situations, offenders. Um, that's not saying all victims are offenders or all offenders are victims. But often this is a complex area. But the wider area of, of how we stay abreast of the issues, we do also have independent advisors who advise us as well. We have a very vibrant, strategic, and here within Plymouth, local independent advisory group who represent um, groups from um, the specific categories, but also um, learning and disabled groups as well. What I would say is, and Chief Superintendent Boulding, Boulding referred to it, we know there is under-reporting in this area, and we're very keen to have greater reporting. But I've tried to condense there in 20 minutes. I think we're in a good place. We try and have others hold up to the mirror to us. We would accept there's more to do. Um, and any help that people wish to give us on that to meet locally or with the force on ideas and best practice, we're keen to explore that.